Good afternoon from Chengdu's East train station here in the Sichuan province of central China. This is a train station despite its absolutely gargantuan appearance. It's absolutely Are we taking off a break? <laughs> Literally is bigger than Newcastle Airport. Absolutely ginormous. Today guys, we're going to be taking China's futuristic high-speed bullet train to China's futuristic high-speed city that is Chongqing, the famous cyberpunk city. The city is so famous for having a really crazy ultra-modern cyberpunk style dystopian feel and we're going to go there today and stay in a luxury hotel and uh, get to know all about Chongqing. But first, we've got to get through security here to get on to the high-speed bullet train. All right, it's given our passports. This is it. Ooh, there we go. After the passport check, you then have to go through your classic bag scanners. It's all very much like an airport process. <laughs> Bye. Turn around, okay. Have it, see it. Okay, well, being patted down. Let's get our bags. Well, look at this absolutely ginormous train station here in Chengdu. Sad to be leaving, absolutely brilliant city. Very chilled out, very nice people, amazing food, and it's a very nice, livable city. First impressions of this uh, train station. Beautiful, huge glass facades surrounded by the ginormous skyscrapers of the city and a big police presence, the security. And uh, yeah, it just looks completely like an airport. All like the gates and stuff, all lettered. You know where you're going? Um, <laughs> I'm going somewhere on here. Yeah, it's not in English. Um, <laughs> Maybe it's going to change to English, I'm not sure. But uh, I guess you just have to know which time you're departing. Despite, actually, there's a few which depart at the same time, so... I've not even on there yet. Not even on there, as I was after 51, is yeah, it? 57. Well, 257, so... We've learned our lesson from the Pakistan trains. Come on time. Yeah. <laughs> no more running for trains. Look at this, guys. You don't get this very often in a train station. What an absolutely beautiful view in this huge glass window here overlooking the entire city skyline loads of greenery all of the tall buildings, a lot of them still under construction and this is Chengdu Railway Station that must be one of the main entrances um, Wow, look at that! Quite, Impressive! Yeah, quite grandioso! While we're here in this train station, we spotted the KFC from a while away. We thought, why don't we see what a KFC is like in China? See if they have any special item or if it's just completely the same. I mean, one thing I'm seeing straight away is beef burgers. I have never have... seen beef burgers. <laughs> no. What's weird though, there's no um, tablet, there's no screen to, to order on at all. Maybe it's a um, QR code. Let's see if we can order here. Yeah. I'm not sure what the situation is because normally everything in China has been on a QR code and with no tablet to use. I don't know. Ni hao. Ni hao. Woman, woman, shang yao, jigger. Jigger ma? Do it. Are you pay? Okay. Oh, so on Alipay, you scan this QR code at the front here. And then we can look at the menu ourselves. That's how you do it, right? Out of the way of all of the people who know what they want. And we'll yeah, we're dafties in the way of everyone. And luckily for us, the Alipay app has a translation ah. option. It translates the whole page. In so. built, so it's all in Chinese now. And in a few seconds, it will switch to English. There you go. Look, there's your cheese, Angus. Right. All right. Submitted our order. Let's wait for our food and you can see what we've chosen from the special Chengdu menu here in China's KFC. What have we got here then, eh? China's KFC, reveal yourself. First, on China's weird KFC menu, 
is bubble tea. Have you ever seen that. a bubble tea in a KFC? Never in my life. Look, it's got the kernel on it. Having his, <laughs> having his bubble tea there. It's going to be me once I take a sip. <laughs> Look at that. KFC bubble tea. You've got your tapioca pearls in the bottom. Was this like a brown sugar tea, uh -huh. is it? Your favourite? My favourite. What else have we got? These are the fries. Even the boxes are all totally different. I love the design. Yeah, there we go. Some fries in there. They look the same. Oh, well, actually, no, they don't. Because these are the old KFC fries. Oh, yeah, they yeah. changed, didn't they? In the UK, they've now got a um, bit of skin on them, the potatoes. But, tastes like the old ones. Of course, it's not like you can get fries wrong, is it? Now, these ones, quite funny, these. Because what we've got here is popcorn chicken. But what were these called on the menu? Explosive chicken. <laughs> these are explosive chicken, and they were described as finger-sucking good. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. You can see like bits of brown in there. They look less like popcorn chicken and more like mini chicken tenders, yeah. right? I think, well, I don't know. Let's have a look at it, because it's like a dark color. Let's have a... Oh, wow. oh, so it's like a thigh meat. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very crunchy. They're a little bit less salty than back home, do you think? Less salty. Yeah. yeah. Very nice though. Here we have... Oh, I think that's the New Orleans wow. burger. That looks like a chicken thigh as well. Almost all the meat here is like chicken thigh or chicken leg. Let's just try the chicken bit. Yeah, look at that. Let's have a little see here. Yeah. Look at that. There's the chicken in there. It's um, not the juiciest. It's a little bit dry. But um, the bread is like really, really sweet. Just gravy. Not gravy. Oh, you've got to have gravy with your chips at KFC. Is that mashed potato? <laughs> that looks rank. Oh, I'm not having that. That is gravy, mashed potato and gravy. Let me try it? the gravy and chips first. Look, I'll, I'll not touch the mashed you haven't, for you. You're having a Sunday dinner, yeah. <laughs> I hate mashed potato, guys. Oh. Nah. That's not good gravy. Finally. But one last, the last thing to item. Try. Reveal yourself. We've gone for the classic. It's a Look crispy. How shiny that bun is. Whoa. <laughs> We've gone for the classic. Just what you want, isn't it? The crispy chicken burger from KFC. Mm. Mm. Again. Look, it's actually chicken thigh. You can see the darker bits. It's very juicy. But the bread, the bread is a bit that's um very very interesting for me because it's like very sweet the bread bun is oh, super is like sweet yeah yeah like brioche right well we'll enjoy this rare Sichuan KFC before we head down for our train great Chinese bullet train to Chongqing futuristic cyberpunk city of China so Page sorted us out with these tickets. I don't know anything about it. So, what sort of seats have we got? How much do they cost? How do you book them? We've gone a little fancy. We've got premier seats. Premier seats, right? But there is a small problem. We're not sat next to each other. On Trip.com, it didn't give us an option to pick our seats or to say put us next to each other. Right. So, we're actually even in different carriages. <laughs> But you can see how busy it is, and is it, I think it's like a public holiday it is, isn't it? Yeah, apparently it's a public holiday as well, which I didn't know. So that's so probably we why we can't sit beside each other, because yeah. it's so busy. So how much is one seat in Premier Class? It was £35 each. Right. And travelling for an hour and a half. But it's like a long way. It's a high-speed train as well. Yeah. It's one of these fancy bullet trains. So a Premier seat, which we'll find out what that looks like on a bullet train here in China for 35 pounds. We're arriving at the gate now, A10. Absolutely no idea how this is going to work. There's a whole heap of people. So from what I can see, 
It's actually like ID based, these tickets. They're based on uh, the ID that you use when you book the ticket. So in our case, maybe our passport is enough to get through here. Look, some people are going through like this and some of us are going around here. Let's have a look in the Yeah, let's see. Or oh, maybe this is non-Chinese. Yeah, this might be like a foreign entrance if we don't have the right uh, identification to use the automated gates there. Yeah, look at that. All of them guys are using their uh, Chinese ID cards, which uh, obviously we don't have. So, yeah, maybe we have to come through here and get it manually checked. Okay. Okay. It's pretty easy. Yeah, should have scanned our passports as if it was uh, getting on a plane. And uh, yeah. Watch your scout now. <laughs> I'm sure once we get down here, it'll look like a regular train platform but i'm open anyway yeah it does, it? so you're down there nice and easy so yeah it's based on uh, your id or your face or whatever rather than your ticket itself talk about high-tech futuristic dystopian things as we head to china's famous cyberpunk city along this great bullet train look oh, at this even in nine minutes wow, there's lots of people back there yeah we haven't got long huh Make a little trip to come see you. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Crikey, okay. Well, so uh, what's my number? My seat number? You are carriage eight, seat number nine F. Seat number nine F in carriage eight. Well, you can see. Yeah. Whoa, that, guy's, that guy's shouting at nobody. You can see here the front. These bullet trains, the famous shape. Yeah. Look at that. This is my first time, our first time ever on a on a bullet train. He's dropped a cigarette there. Wow. Okay, this was eight. Carriage eight. You're, you're nine, aren't you? Oh, we're in different. Oh, entirely different <laughs> cars. Crikey. And I've got no internet either, so we're going to be completely in the dark okay. for an hour and a half well i'll just drop you off here then but I'll, I'll see you on i'll see oh, you on so make sure you get sorted now i will be honest this from what i've just seen inside that train it's not the pictures yeah. i saw online but not the premier class you were expecting all right well this is Number eight. Let's have a look inside the Chinese bullet train. Ni hao. Is it this one? Well, oh, it's quiet in there, isn't it? Is this eight or nine? Chicken show. Ba. There's someone in my seat. That's my only problem. Oh, you've already had your seat next. Right, you're gonna have a bit of drama here. Yeah. Might have a bit of drama here. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Right, well, I'll see you in, uh, in Chongqing. I'll try and get off on time. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> this is what happens guys when you book. Oh, everyone's running, Greggy, let's hurry up, bloody hell, I don't want to be late. Oh, I'm running for a train once again, in classic style. Let's get on the bloody train first. Wow. Let's see, 9F. Uh, right, I believe this is me. Oh, there we go, look. 9F. This is quite nice and swanky, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. This is what it's all about. 
Got the life of Riley. Thirty-five pound. And all this leg room here. Got our own train guard there. Beautiful view out the window. A little cup holder. I can put me drinks in there. This absolute life of Riley. Fall asleep like that. Tell you what, guys. First time on a bullet train. We well, haven't even moved yet, and I'm excited. One problem I am gonna have because I don't have AliPay or WeChat or anything on my phone. Paige sorts all that out for me. So if, it's, if I need anything or I need to buy anything, I'm gonna be in a bit of bother, aren't I? So luckily, I did come prepared. Got myself a bottle of Snow Mountains mineral water. So I can put that in my little spot there. Yeah, this is what it's all about, guys. And the luxury doesn't stop here. You wait till you see the hotel we've got in Chongqing. That is going to be oh, probably the nicest hotel we've ever stayed in if if the pictures come true, you know. Sometimes, you know, I've heard a few little rumours that in China you can have a few hotels where the pictures aren't exactly as they really are in real life when you arrive at the hotel. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the hotel is as nice as it looks and then we'll go out and get deep late night into the cyberpunk city of Chongqing. So yeah, keep watching. I'm very excited to get there. But I also want to enjoy this journey, have a look at the Chinese countryside as we pass through on this nice afternoon. Yeah, coming into the beautiful sunshine of Chengdu. You'll see tall buildings there. It's a nice city. Thoroughly enjoyed it here. Nice song, eh? 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 Nice I'm Jack. Go where I want. <laughs> Look at this. Passing through all of the copy paste department uh, blocks. Looks like a new tower being built over there. Lots of greenery in this city. It's very, very nice. Tell you what, the uh, PA system doesn't work very well. It's funny, all the different eras of uh, buildings here, it's still, no matter whether it was the older buildings or the newer buildings, they all made them the same, didn't they? They just build them totally the same and, uh, and use the space the best they can. But yeah, look at that, eh? It doesn't even feel like we're moving, you know. It's completely smooth. Uh, I think I just said I want cola. Ah, oh, well. Ah, don't miss it. Don't miss it. I don't cola. Uh, you have cafe? No, no, no. Ah, ah, good. Uh, I don't need it. No, no. Thank you. I just realised you said cola, which is cola. I can't drink fizzy drinks. That's no good for me, is it? Right. I'm alright though, I've got me snow mountain mineral water. It's such a smooth experience, it's just um, totally doesn't feel like you're moving at all. Can't wait to see what it feels like when we get up to the top speed. He's just giving us this. I don't know what this is, but our mate here, the, uh, train conductor, he's just came and given us a little box. Let's see what's in there then, shall we? So, see if I can uh, open that. See what we're getting here. Well, okay. So, what do we have here? Looks like some crackers. Yeah. This looks like what oh, rose cake. Mm. Banana slices, okay. Mm. 
There's a few little nice little light, light snacks, isn't it? And then some peas, garlic flavour. No, I do like that. Oh, there's a nice little care package, little snack box that'll keep us going for this hour and a half journey to Chongqing. Oh, thank you very much, kind sir. Just leave that there. I don't need to worry about anything falling over because of how smooth this experience is. Still uh, picking up the pace, 153. Absolutely flying up the speed there, look. We're going to be at 200 in no time. 10 kilometers an hour to go, put your foot down, son. Put your foot down. Oh, that was an announcement. Yeah, I think we'll have broken it now, 200 kilometers an hour. Flying through the countryside. I can feel a bit of pressure in my head, my ears are sort of popped a little bit. But, uh, well, this is probably the most convenient way of transport there is. And for 30 quid in this massive seat here that I've got here, you kind of get robbed, you know what? 30 quid, you couldn't even dream of traveling anything like this in England. This is absolutely, uh, you know, it's like 70, 80 quid to get from London to Newcastle on a seat nowhere near as comfy as this. Well, let's uh, enjoy this journey. There you go, 230 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I've got no idea how high that's going to go. Does it go to 300? I don't know. Well, we'll see, won't we? This is so nice, this guys. Just look at this going from proper rural China here. <coughs> It'd be great to go and meet some of the people that live in these places here. Well, as I've done in India and Pakistan, I always like to show the facilities on these trains, which is the normally the toilets. Now, this is traveling real luxury compared to our bottom class train adventures through India and Pakistan. But I'll leave my bag here, because China is one of the safest countries in the world. Don't need to worry about my bag or anything. Let's go and see what sort of facilities we're working with as we pass through this mountain tunnel. Let's see. Oh, open up the door here. Well, we're currently travelling at 300 kilometres an hour. So, unlike in India and Pakistan, I'll not be hanging out of the door. <laughs> so, let's see if I can find the uh, the toilet. I'm sure they might be at the bottom of uh, this. This is the normal uh, class here, not the premier seats. Wow, your ears don't half pop when you go through them tunnels. Well, here's a communal sink area with soap and everything that you need, hot water and uh, looks like this is the toilet situation so close the door there lock wow yeah. a clean toilet well it's not the fanciest thing in the world but um you know it reminds me very much of like an LNER like a British just like a British uh, train toilet uh, but it's nice and clean you know, there's no um, liquid all over the floor and all the other stuff that I deal with. And for one thing, it's got an air freshener. <laughs> that is something I am not used to with our train adventures, so that is quite nice. Right, well, I'm happy with that. Nice clean toilet and a big sink outside of there. This is nice, this. I don't know if that's for everybody, but for me, I'm getting a bit of pressure in my head and uh, just feeling a bit fatigued, a bit tired when I was sitting there. Maybe it's because it's so smooth, it's like relaxing or something, but uh, yeah, could do with a bit of a wake up. Let's sit back down, open.
Well, our journey on China's futuristic bullet train is over. An hour and a half later, we've arrived on a slightly gloomy day here in Chongqing Railway Station. Let's get off the train, see if we can get ourselves one of China's ultra-modern electric vehicles that they've got. The ones that only exist in China, you can't buy them anywhere else. See if we can get one of them to our hotel, which is supposed to be pretty impressive so yeah looking forward to getting checked at the hotel and then getting deep into the city and exploring this alleged cyberpunk capital <laughs> looks like a lot of people wanted to go to this city yeah that was a nice little experience premier class <laughs> on a chinese train very nice See you. All right, deal, deal. Ah, there we go. See you. There we go, man. Nice gentleman. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I looked the wrong way. There we are. How was that? Wonderful. How fast was that? Did you feel like a weird like pressure in your head or anything? Or are you like? I had like my ears needed to pop and stuff. No, I didn't feel that. Oh. Did you feel tired at all? No. Just what? Well, I had pressure in my head, my ears were popping. I felt knackered the whole way. But it was nice with it with all the uh, all of the small towns and yeah, villages perfect. and stuff like that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, maybe that way. This way. Oh look, exit up there. That's so funny, everybody's just like ran off the train to smoke. There's so much cigarette smoke everywhere right now. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice first experience, wasn't it? Did you get a little snack, bud? I did, I, I little did a little bit. food review. Oh, hey, there did you, you go. No, I didn't need oh. some. There you go. I You'll just have... took a little devil out of everything. <laughs> You'll have seen the food <laughs> review of the snack box that we got. But what I noticed was there was loads of like, um, like cities that aren't ready yet. Yes. Yeah, like loads of these like uh, huge like glass buildings, like dozens of them, big complex would be like some big business park or something like that. All these beautiful modern buildings, but then like there's no road or anything, like <laughs> loads of diggers and construction. It's interesting that they build all the buildings first and they haven't built the roads yet or anything. It's, uh, I thought they would build the roads and then put some buildings there, but uh, no, it was interesting to see like uh, the, the cities of the future, the cities that will be, the cities of tomorrow. But, as far as futuristic things go, they say it doesn't get more futuristic than Chongqing. This is this city here. 